I mean, like I grew up in Manhattan and then I lived in Brooklyn for many years and then I moved back to my roots. Yeah, I love New York. I mean, I guess, you know, once, like you know from Paris, once you get used to a city and it's just your city. Yeah, I don't know. It could be fun to live someplace else, but also I have a cheap apartment, so I can't give it up. We got machines we invent and learn how to build that can stir the cement for giant holes to be filled with the balance of minerals, liquids, and anthracite through trial and error at a particular Fahrenheit. So why can't there be some kind of mighty machine to fight feelings? They're just feelings. We got blueprints for rockets that defeat gravitation with combustion hydraulics and discrete calculation of where the Kármán line snaps and the sound wave convulses to blast through gaps in the armor of the magnetic pulses like a fist through a screen. So where is this machine to fight feelings? They're just little feelings. In boxes and tubes, we fight the cold and the heat with square numbers and cubes to decisive defeat. Setting digital dials in fractions each can agree on In hot orange spirals or in wintergreen freons Spewing atoms or ice But where do they have this device that fights feelings? They're just stupid feelings Just as the Grand Coulee Dam merely begun as a dream One day a bike helmet cam grew from the era of steam So maybe some magic time constructions we are not aware of We'll just pluck through your mind, just one more task to take care of. Can't something help fight against this old pathetic condition? Where I'm somehow defenseless just against words or a vision. If they're so big and smart, why can't they start making stuff to fight feelings? They're just little feelings. Now that there's lasers and beams, let's build amazing machines to fight feelings. There's just a few feelings, a few lousy feelings, a few little feelings. A few stupid feelings, why can't they fight?